Hey, Dana. Hey, you guys. Hello. Uh, breaking entertainment story overnight. Country star Toby Keith has died. Back in 2013, he had just opened his restaurant bar in Rosemont. He was just back from his hometown in Moore, Oklahoma, where he had put on a benefit concert for tornado victims there. The village of Rosemont that day proclaimed it Toby Keith Day as he serenaded the crowd with a mini concert and talked to us about his new music and the Illinois State Fair. It's always neat that they recognize uh, uh, that we're trying to put something in the community that uh, uh, works for everybody. You know, it's a good hang. How many drinking songs on the new album? Well, there's always some drinking songs because yeah. I'm in the drinking business. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I had four things ready to go for the album, and they said, we've got to have a single June 8th. I said, well, I've got to go back and do this tornado stuff. So we put drinks after workout first. I heard there's going to be quite an honor for you tonight at the Illinois State I think yeah. the governor must be a, a hillbilly fan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he said, I want to proclaim it Big Dog Daddy Day. So <laughs> I said, well, get is after it, Is that on man. the official proclamation, Big Dog Daddy? <laughs> I, don't think I hope so. it is. I hope so, too. Since 2022, Toby Keith was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Since then, he underwent every treatment. Overnight, his social media accounts posted the news that he had passed peacefully, surrounded by his family, fighting with grace and courage. Despite his health challenges, he kept on performing sold-out shows, including several in Las Vegas just two months ago. Toby Keith sold more than 40 million records and had 20 number one hit songs. Among his biggest hits, Should Have Been a Cowboy, Red Solo Cups, Who's Your Daddy, Courtesy of the Red, White and Blue, and many more. He survived by his wife and three kids. Toby Keith was only 62 years old.